All right, welcome back. And it's still Fadji Friday. And we're talking all things. Messi Frank is in the building. The International Girls in ICT Day with the theme Digital Skills for Life. And like we said at the beginning of the show, the International Girls in ICT Day aims to inspire a global movement to increase the representation of girls and women in tech. And is committing to the goal of equal access for young girls and girls to opportunities in science, technology, engineering and maths. That's fantastic. And also the goal for this year is um, basically to cultivate the presence of digital skills for young women between the ages of 12 and 24. So I know that uh, here in Nigeria we started things like coding for young girls. And you've been an ICT expert. I mean, what's your take on that? Mm. Okay, be careful when you call me an ICT expert. No, because <laughs> you're you know, that, that, that. <laughs> yeah. I, I talk about, I tell stories because about technology because I'm okay. crazy about technology. I'm a designer. Um, I'm a creator as well. That's what I do. Mm. A bit of coding skills here and there, but I'm just too lazy for that. So this is very interesting because it's about pushing women to play a very huge role, which they have been doing, but it has not been mentioned for quite a while mm. in what they call STEM, now called STEAM. Okay. Science, technology, engineering, mathematics, now they've added arts to it, and that's what's making it STEAM. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's been a man's world for a long time, but women have been playing roles in the industry. But, of course, because it's been a man's world, the men tell the stories, they give accolades to the men, and the women don't get to, you know, tell the stories and and for the fact that we um, a lot of young girls or even individuals don't hear so much about the stories of women in the industry they have a lower participation of the female gender in anything ICT related um, STEM related mm. yeah of course we have a lot of them in arts of course the musicians and the actors and the rest of them so let's okay. focus on STEM for now I'll just give you a bit of a, a history here Remember the movie Hidden Figures? Mm -hmm. How it inspired, um, yeah, so. it inspired by a few, three men specifically mm -hmm. in uh, who were working with NASA. Uh, that is the um, National Aeronautic and Space Administration, of course, of the years, the space age. In the 1960s, women who contributed hugely by doing what? What did they do? They were known as computers and they pioneered a math that hadn't existed. So they needed a formula to be done to be able to move the space industry from one level to the other. Mm -hmm. The men have been looking for these things. So these women who nobody knows about decided, okay, you know, we're going to try to do something. And they did it. And of course, he moved it to the next level, which inspired the movie. So we have a lot of women who have been doing that. What about internet? What about Wi-Fi? What about GPS? All those Bluetooth-enabled communication models. Women were behind this thing. Talk, so come to Nigeria in recent times. We have lots of women doing abundantly awesome things using technology and using technology to even drive their businesses as well. Take, for instance, me once um, Funko Quickie yeah. that was um, bought over by Equinox off the world. I mean, she, she brought in, she's an electrical engineer, but she brought in um, internet connectivity that changed the face of internet connectivity okay. in Nigeria. So women are doing so well. So what we want to do is to begin to catch them young so that when they grow up, women, they, when they, these girls grow up, they can begin to be women in places where decisions are being made. Okay, so spe sorry, speaking of catch catching them young, yes. You know, she was a representative of Man of the Year. She, in the, I think what was her category again, mm -hmm. Man of the Year, of course. With um, young women, a lot of 12 to 24, that's the catch them young age. It almost seems like there's a shift and tilt from science to maybe the arts. So how can that be encouraged in the fact that social media and that seems to promote or a certain level of, you know, you know what I'm talking about. But now you want the girls to be actively involved in STEM. That's very serious. It seems like it's very serious. <laughs> so how can we encourage young girls to imbibe? Because they may say if you have some people literally have the talent when they're exactly. young, they have the mathematics. Some people are uh, not so mathematically inclined. So uh, how can we encourage, or what is the drive to encourage more girls to participate or be active in that field? So having conversations like this is the first step. Mm. Yeah, because it creates awareness and let girls know that, honey, you can do it. You actually can do it. Telling stories of women who have been there, done that, and got a t-shirt to prove for it is another way of, mm. of encouraging the girls to know that, yes, this can be done. Also, bringing about developmental trainings, developmental exercises. Oh, there's a free coding classes for girls between the ages of 18 and 20, or between the ages of 6 and 7. I got a lot of people who are actually going to primary schools, secondary schools, of course, elementary, quality, elementary high school in other climes, you know, to teach girls free of, just come free of charge you don't need to pay any money let's come teach you how to do that so you teach them one after the other from the very from the very basic fundamental 
you know, areas of STEM to, uh, to the very advanced level. I mean, I mean, you have to watch Tech Hub on Children's Day. You're going to be seeing kids who have built robots, kids wow. who have used their hands and their brains and ideas to build things with technology. So speaking about it, encouraging free training, that's developmental trainings for girls, and also going to hinterlands to let them under, to let those people in those areas who we do not place premium in education, who do not place premium in educating girls, to let them understand that. Mm. It is a world for everybody. It's not long, really no longer a man's world as usual. Help them understand that. They say when you train a man, you train a man. But when you train a woman, you train a family, you train a society. If those girls are exposed to technology at a tender age, they grow up, of course, they will encourage their kids to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're embracing the entire nation through that woman. So I think it's a beautiful way to, to get and to start I like a conversation. I mentioned that, you know, uh, some perceive it as a man's world. And sometimes uh, in this part of the world, you know, education is not really prioritized for the girl child. Mm -hmm. So like you've mentioned, what are the ways that people can, you know, reach out to these parents and say, hey, your girl children, let's teach them some of these skill sets. And also, do you think that the government has a role to play in this? I start with the second second question. The government has a huge role to play because although they say innovation moves faster than regulation, the government can catch up and place policies that makes it pivotal, important, urgent, and a must for schools and parents to place premium on education and of course on technology. Because whether we like it or not to look K, our world is driven already by technology, by technology and the future too. is all things tech mm. we see what ai is doing and the controversies is creating we see construction today before it could take you six months to build a, an 11 story building now it takes way shorter than that because technology has been involved in construction technology is involved even in broadcasting i mean who, who knew back then, 10 years ago, that I could have a conversation with somebody live on TV via Zoom, via Cisco, via Skype, whatever platform it is. So the government has a ritual to play to ensure that even as it is catching up with innovation, it's going to put regulation policies in place to ensure that, okay, you have to place a premium on education and give the people the very best thing, give the people um, world standard, yeah? Also, women... The first question you asked about what women can play in ensuring that you know um, girls catch up with this thing, come out. Women have been doing it. Oh, this is me. Uh, this is what I've been doing. I've been able to do this. I'm an engineer. Look at me. I'm a woman. I have mm. children. I'm still feminine. I don't have muscles around me. Uh, I still wear heels. Yeah, I <laughs> love wearing sneakers. Sorry, don't mind me, but it's okay. I wear heels too. Oh, I wear heels. I still have my hair on. I have mm. wig. I have a car. I'm still. You know, it doesn't, mean, it doesn't mean I have to I'll be turned into a man. Masculine. And also tell the parents, look at me. Probably I came from a poor background. But because I embrace technology, which is a big deal today. You see how these Gen Z's are cashing out big time because they have tech skills, working for companies outside of Nigeria and earning foreign currency. By the time you show them these examples, they'll be like, okay, if my child can, if I give, if I exercise patients and invest in my child technology for the next 10 time. years. Yeah, really? It's going to come back to me big time. So right. these, among okay. others, can be used in making. The head, but I just want to give uh, the viewers some context for some of the things that um, we're talking about. Um, the hashtag, like we said, is digital skills for life, ICT, digital transformation. And I believe that this year's so will be celebrated in Zimbabwe as part of the Transform Africa Summit. And um, it's a couple of global events that is just would involve mentoring, education, youth participation, and of course, it's just building on the various initiatives just to ensure that we also seek digital gender equality but address the importance of education. You can't take away education at all. Um, from digital exposure because Absolutely. if there's no education, there's, that's the foundation and the groundwork to enable our girls to just aspire to ICT yeah. and digital skills. I mean, yes. do you want to see anything? Yeah, education is important mm -hmm. because when you lack enlightenment, abuse is just right in the face of you. If you have been given the power to be able to impact so many lives because of technology, if you're not educated, you don't know the importance of understanding how it makes the other person feel, you don't understand the importance of uh, um, impact. impact, abuse is inevitable, and that's the truth. And that's why education should be at the basis, at the foundation, at the very bottom of anything technology. You see the guys, you know, of course, we have ethical hackers, but we have some who have coding skills that in just a minute, they look at you, look at your phone, they next sit beside you, the next thing, your money is out of your account. Um, um, we have people who are using, using robots, you know, mm. for ill purposes. purposes. Okay. Um, 
I, I can put it that most of them are not, they don't have that enlightenment behind it. And that's the reason why they can use technology for ills. ills. So when you're educated, you understand, you definitely are exposed to the world, understand people's cultures, understand people's emotions, understand people's um, whims, then you'll be able to use technology to solve problems mm -hmm. because that is the basis on which we are all screaming that we want technology. What is the essence of technology? Mm. All it does is Just to, to make life better. Exactly, make it easy, and increase now productivity. Now about this really quickly, um, we know we have a new government that's coming in, mm. starting in May 29. Uh, do you think that the new government we should still have to commit to trending. more? Yes, we got trending, and Messi is not going. No. <laughs> Uh, uh, asking if the government Should is... Should more to education in one word. What we can do is, let me just say I believe in them. And I would say yes, because um, to an extent, some of them have sh proved, have shown me pretty exposed. They have proved the metal that they can be able to transform um, a particular society from the dark age into a mega city, whatever it coinage they're using. Mm. But we have a responsibility to play to ensure that if they're missing out, we tell them, backtrack, backtrack, backtrack. This is what we're supposed yes. to do. I love so the passion. But anyways, um, we'll still just mention this briefly before we wrap up the show. And of course, Tech Hub is... Um... Yes, 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 guys. Watch Tech Hub. Technology rules the world. Trust me, I'm going to shout it out to the rest <laughs> of the world. Every Sunday, 12 noon, on Silverbird Television, Silverbird News 24. Mm -hmm. We also have repeat broadcast during the day. So watch out for it. You can just... Silverbird N24, mm. or just at Mercy Frank, you'll be able to catch updates of people that are using tech to solve problems from yeah. kids Absolutely. to the highest and toppest in the land, tech hub for okay. Smarter You. Thank you, Mercy. But we are not going here to. We have trending, so we want you to do justice to our trending stories. So we'll take a break. When we come back, trending, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>